All right, guys. So we finally got the uh, Cadex Vista system in. It's just been sitting in customs for a little while. It finally came in today. So I'm going to give you a quick overview of what this system is like and show you a little bit of footage. And there will be more videos in the future. So this is how it came. Uh, I did have to do a little assembly. I think this is maybe possibly an early release. I think the final versions will have everything assembled like this, but I did have to attach this ribbon cable here, I guess this coax cable, I'm not exactly sure what you call that. There's a little connector there, and then there's a little metal piece here that holds the connector down. You have to screw that in there. And then there's a, that connects inside the camera here. You had to fish this cable through the hole and then screw this back plate on to the connector on the back of the camera. So that's the actual unit itself. And then there's this uh, Rush Cherry circular polarized antenna and it's left hand circular polarized for the DJI goggles and it has a micro FL connector here on this end and a locking mechanism and this I think it slides in like this and that locks it in so it keeps the connector from popping out but on the unit itself here where, the, where is the connector for the antenna and right there you you have to take a screw out and then there's a little metal plate here that will hold the antenna down onto the board there. And to make your data and power connections that are just on the solder pads here on the side. And they correspond to the same connections that are on a standard DJI air unit. So you have ground, sorry, you have power. And the power range here is wider. It goes up to 6S, 26.4 volts, I believe, is the, the high, the maximum range. So you don't have to worry about extra voltage regulators, that kind of thing. Um, and this has a voltage regulator built in, so you can do direct uh, battery voltage to this. You see you have voltage or power, ground, RX, TX, and then you have signal ground, and then SBUS or HDL. Those are the same connections that a standard DJI air unit has, except instead of a connector that you plug in, you would solder these wires on, and then on the underside are bigger pads if you want access to them, a little bit more of a solder pad to connect to. This did come with this cable here that goes to a connector that probably corresponds to some sort of flight controller that will use this that I don't have a use for, so I'm just going to use the bare wire and connect it directly to my DC3 here. And I'm going to use my uh, XM Plus receiver, not the DJI controller, because I broke my DJI controller. Those things, um, now if you drop them onto concrete, they will shatter and break. Be aware of that. So, um, this Vista will work with the DJI transmitter. It's just that I won't be able to test that because mine's broken. Anyway, I'm going to put this into the DC3. Uh, I'm going to have to kind of jerry-rig it because it doesn't, wasn't built for the Vista. It was built for the actual DJI air unit. So, there's only two 20 by 20 holes back there that I can use and so I'm going to have to get a little creative in mounting this but that's what I'm going to put it in and we'll see what the footage looks like. It's basically you got 720p at 120 frames per second at like lower latency things like 21 to 28 milliseconds and then there's high quality mode at 720p 60 frames per second at 30 to 40 milliseconds latency. Pretty much all the specs as far as I know are all the same. Even the 1200 milliwatt hack which you can put that file on your goggles to enable 1200, 1200 milliwatts will work. I've, I've heard I've, that that will work on this as well. So really the only things you're missing here are the ability to do on the uh, onboard recording and you only have one antenna connection instead of two. The camera I heard is exactly the same as the DJI camera. No differences. Um, range is the same. It's got the same features except no onboard recording and only one antenna not two. Not sure how you're going to get the same range only one antenna. Uh, but that's what they're advertising and it has the same uh, micro I'm sorry the USB-C connection here for your computer and for those of you guys who are getting this uh, early you're probably gonna have to do an update with your DJI assistance software on your PC because I heard that there are already a newer update for a firmware updates out for this so I'm gonna have to do that as well but those are pretty easy to do uh, for DJI stuff all right so let me just show you the weight difference what you get here this is the uh, so here is just the camera with the Vista uh, two board system, 29 grams, and you throw on the Cherry antenna, it's coming at 31.38. And then this is the DJI Air system with uh, two antennas and the air unit, 
and it's coming at 54.26. Okay, so that's it for right now. I'm going to go ahead and get this wired in, and I'll show you some goggle recorded footage, of course. Uh, I'm going to try different power levels, and I'll, I'll show you that in the footage that you'll see next. All right, so starting out in 25 milliwatt mode, auto or focus mode is in auto, and I'm pretty close here, and I'm seeing the focus mode turning on. You see the sides of the video kind of getting a little grainy. I'm not that far away. 25.4 megabits bit rate, 29 milliseconds latency. All right, so let's go a little further down. Again, only 25 milliwatts with focus mode on auto. All right, bit rate still 25.3, 24 milliseconds latency, turning around, getting a lot more pixelation, but the latency is still like 26 milliseconds. So I'm thinking if I up the power, a lot of this pixelization will go away. Let's go all the way down here. I can't even fly this far on, on 25 milliwatts analog. It just uh, gets too too much breakup to see anything down here. Still 21 milliseconds latency, 25.3 megabits bit rate. Uh, no problems. A little bit of jerkiness I see. This is with all these trees in the way. Yeah, it's still 25 milliseconds latency, 25 megabits bit rate, and lots of pixelization. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to set the power to 700. I have not done the 1200 milliwatt hack on this yet. I may or may not do that. I really don't have any interest in going super long range. So I'm going to bump up to 200 milliwatts. And let's see how that does. Oops. Well, I have, uh, oh, okay. That's interesting. There is a, there was like, a, it totally froze there for a second. Not sure what that's all about. Alright, so mm, maybe a little bit less pixelization. Still no change in the bitrate or latency. A uh, little bit less uh, pixelization, but it's still significant. Alright, so let's go, let's come back and bump the power up again. Let's see what that sunset looks like here. Once they get above the trees, none of that pixel pixelization shows up as you can see. Nice image. A little bit of pixelization there. That's with the antenna in the back pointing away. Let's bump up the power again. We're going 500 now. All right. That's like and still, you can see with focus mode on, you get that pixelization on the side. It's, it doesn't seem that much better on 500 milliwatts, to be honest. It seems about the same. Let's come down here. Let's get behind all these trees. Well, still a lot of pixelization. There's a guy standing under the tree over there. That's kind of weird. And 
you get above the trees, nice and clear. Bump up the power one more time. All right, we're up to 700 now. I think when we switch to power, it briefly freezes. All right, let's see. Yeah, when I arm, it freezes just for a moment when it comes back. So, coming back down here again. See, they still have the uh, pixelization from focus mode. I don't know if that guy is still down here. He's still standing under that tree. This is max power, at least on without the uh, modification. But... Now you can see, it's, I think it's a little bit clearer. You can still see the focus mode on the edges. And then if you go behind this tree here, it's definitely better. I mean, it, it's performing very similarly to what the full-size air unit would do. I don't see any unusual behavior, really. Oh, except I fail safe there. <laughs> 